And we're live. Hi everyone, this is Amateur Gamer, and now we're returning to Civ 5 Vox Populi as I continue with the A to Z Nation playthrough with Austria. Did you miss something? Yes. Uh, basically, capturing this meant that I have to like pretty much promote every single unit. I decided not to show that because that's just a waste of time. But yeah, uh, basically, now I have like logistics on all of my artillery. Pretty insane. You're the one with the extra range. So, um, I am, wait, how did I get a couple of guns? Mecca can go for a chancery. Go for a national visitor center. Windmill. Oh yeah, and also pretty much all of my battleship except this one that has bombardment has uh logistics. Yeah, I don't know about you, but um I'm like I don't want to be on the receiving end. Okay, that's... No, no point uh, pillaging those. Let's get my battleships in position. And this one I went for... Broadside. They should be able to inflict a lot more hurt. So now the question is, and my tanks got blitz, so that's going to hurt. Wow, it, okay, it's going to hurt them a lot more than it's going to hurt me. that and some of the gun march it's going to replenish I mean I guess I shouldn't have pillage all of those but you just heal up once my artillery are in range they are pretty much doomed and my cavalry also have, oh my god, 28,000. What am I going to use for that? No, did the game crash? It might crash. Okay, um, wow, that is very annoying. I mean, let's try again. I'll turn off the yields because I know that actually eats up a lot of memory. I'll try again, but I... Like, like, at this point, it's pretty obvious that I have it won. Like, I don't, I don't think there's any doubt that I've won. Whoops, I forgot to do that. That was stupid of me. I mean, at, at this point, it's pretty obvious that it's won, right? Like, nobody's going to doubt me that I'm not going to win. I have 60-something votes. World ideology is most likely going to get through. I mean, what's going to be challenging is, I mean, that the next vote is interesting because Siam is trying to steal one of my city-states away, and I don't like that very much. I mean, to be fair, I did steal Zanzibar from him, so. Well, sort of. Not quite, actually. Now that I think about it, I'm like, I... I, pr I remove his sphere of influence, but at, then I just worked my way so I was able to grab. I sent a great diplomat, and that's how I was able to be allied. But, I mean, I, I, I have more than enough votes. So it, it's just a matter of time. So 
let's see. Load. I have to load an auto save. I'll turn off the yields, but the thing is, I am on a laptop, so not surprised. So yeah, overall, Austria, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I could win with her on Emperor. Like, okay, there, there are a couple of things. First, she's late game. And being a late game Civ, it means that you're, you're vulnerable. And there are lots of Civ that are much stronger than you earlier on. Like for this game, I'm I'm fortunate to not start like right next to Songhai because that would be a huge problem, like a huge huge issue. Because I hate. Wait, do I have to redo all the? Get it. I mean, it's pretty much done. I mean, nine turns. Okay, l let me just lay it out. I have nine turns before this proposal. Even if I lose both of these, uh, I will lose four. So I will still have 60. I only need 44. And... Like, if I invest all of this, then 10 turns later, global... You know, I, I just vote for myself and... I will be one. I'm not gonna do this because I also actuate. Um, I mean, let me at, at least play while I talk. Otherwise, it feels boring. But like I said, like even if I lose those two proposals, I am more than guaranteed to. I mean, the the irony is, it, it's probably faster if I just end the war with Songhai, be done with it, defend my own territory well enough, put down a few citadel to really annoy him, and then go from there. I mean, it, it, it will make the turns go faster, like right now. So, so if you're wondering, I, I made a quick save. At least I think I did right after I finished all the promotions. At least I hope that's what I did. Or maybe I didn't. Either way, I I don't think we're gonna see the end of this. I mean, oops, sorry about that. In my keyboard. So. Okay, yes, I did do that. Good, good, good. Let's also remove the hex. I mean, I could take this city, throw a few citadels up there, and be done with it. Wow, this looks so plain. <laughs> so yeah, right now, if you look at my military, I'm I'm third. I'm not that behind Siam. I mean, I stopped my military production. I do have a marriage with... I think it's too soon. Three turns. Yeah, it's gonna be... Yeah, no, I don't think I'll be able to get marriage there. If I could, it'd be nice. And and at this point, does it really matter what I build? I don't think so. I mean, this city isn't going to last very long. Let's, let's put it that way. 
now with a couple of artilleries. Peppering it. So basically, like, nobody could really threaten me militarily. Especially now when I have like a hundred combat strength. Oh, radar is still not done. Okay. Yeah, once I get radar, I have heavy bombers. Like, what are they going to do? Actually, I think I do want to. See, if I want this to end sooner, I would. End the war. Now? Yeah, all of those promotions is pretty annoying, I, I will admit. Because now I have to... Shift through all of them. Now! The biggest threat is probably Rome, because they're so close to me. But I mean, Rome has 49 techs. Am I reading this correctly? I'm 18 texts ahead of him. Yeah, I, I mean, Rome unable to take, you know, the Mayans is a big issue. That's his own problem. I'm not the incompetent one here. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to keep playing. It's... I mean, I have to wait 19 turns, and it's going to take a while, and my game might still crash. But overall, I mean, I have 64. I mean, does Maya even have an ideology? No. Neither does Rome. So basically... World ideology, I mean, there's four. Because Siam won't fight this, so that's four, twelve, uh, sixteen. So I just need seventeen here. If I go, s actually, I'll go, I'll go twenty-four. If I go twenty-four, I'll have twenty and twenty. Chances are out. I'll get the outcome I want. So, l let me talk about my thoughts on Austria. This is going to be the final. I mean, I, I got lucky with my start where I'm able to settle these. I mean, I never had to use this choke point, thankfully. And then eventually, I just start conquering my way out. Everybody start hating me, attacking me. It was a pain. The city states have been surprising like Wellington took... <laughs> I, I still don't know how they took that city. I mean, I wasn't supporting them. Like, I will understand if I'm, like, supporting them and then they get the last hit. But, yeah, now I have control over this. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could get that as well. But it's not a huge matter. Songhai won't be very relevant, like, if I want to keep going. I don't think I'll be able to... It'd be very tough for me to eliminate Songhai before I win the game. And where the hell are you going? Oh, are you going for... No, that's gone. Yeah, I have no idea where. Yeah, the AI just likes to settle everywhere. So overall, this game has been... In interesting. So, like I was saying, Austria, I I don't know if I could play her well. Because the issue is, she is a, she is a late game Civ. She's weak early game. And the thing is, her strength relies on her antagonizing every single neighbor. Like, every single... AI, you are gonna absolutely know. Like, if I go cultural victory, I could avoid stepping on toes. Like, that one game. 
was it Arabia? No, Assyria. There was that one game I played with Assyria. I can't remember if it was leaders or nations. I didn't get a single war. I went cultural victory. I avoided stepping on toes. I was friendly with most and neutral with others, but I didn't have a single war. With diplomatic, you are going to anger every single neighbor, and it's just crazy. And, and that's the thing, like, if you lose city-state allies, you are in trouble. Like, like, when you look at her kit, okay. So this is pretty strong, but it's pretty expensive. So you can only get it later. The issue is, when you get it later, you will, like I said, antagonize all of your neighbors. All the AIs. I mean, you saw me fighting wars. I had the capabilities of defending it. But that won't always be the case. Then, Hussars. I mean, I, I show them to be pretty strong. One thing I didn't realize is that, right, Lightning Warfare also gives them extra movement. That extra movement actually makes a huge difference. Because, for instance, normally, let's say... Let's say I'm trying to attack Budapest and my Hussar is here. So before Arsenal's, it has two range. If I attack, I'll be like 1, 2, attack, move back, it stays in range. Hussar's 1, 2, attack, fall back, the city can't do anything. You're impervious. They will have to send units out, but then you'll take them out. So that isn't a problem. Wait. So I have Jen, Capture Jen. Is there any other Capture City? This is Capture Jen, Capture Tom. Booked. So if I take these two cities, my units will be like super. <laughs> They'll be like elite. Like, that's 65. That's 65. Oh my god. That is crazy. So yeah, okay, let me continue. So, with her kit. And then, this unit is okay. I mean, the culture is not that impressive. I mean, to be honest, his, his extra combat bonus in friendly territory, not that impressive either, because at that point... With all the bonuses you have, the 25% is not that useful. I, I hate to say it, but I don't know. The, the unit feels a bit underwhelming. And that culture is nothing. Like, you don't even feel that culture. So, I, I don't even know what's the point. Like, even if you get 20 of them stationed, I mean, 20. I mean, yeah, right now I have 2,000. But at that time, I had, what, 700? That 20 is going to make a difference. And it doesn't go to the city, so e so it's not like if I station actually, actually let me check. Maybe I'm wrong. Um from policies work. I mean do you still keep it? Yeah. But the city doesn't benefit from it, so like, it's, it's not like adding to here and then it helps with the modifier. No, it doesn't do that. So, that feels very weak. So, so I'm not impressed. I mean, 38 combat strength. It's... It's 3 combat strength stronger than Fusilier. I'm not gonna use it. I mean, I, I will use it, but... It's not like a noticeable improvement. I mean, it's slightly better, but not really. And then, after that, okay, coffee house. I mean, it's just solid. Like, put that in my capital. I mean, I, I went tradition. But yeah, look at this. So, wait, how much science am I getting from coffee? City modifier. Uh, which one is 70? I don't know what value. So, 10, 10%. I will get 43. The chances is it's from, wait, 70 from buildings. 44 from buildings. Maybe. 
I mean, Coffee House is really nice to synergize as well. This is great except for a couple of things. First, you need the supply, otherwise you can't make use of this. And... I mean, the extra production and culture is nice. But overall, I, I feel like given how late this comes... I mean, if... I mean, like... I had a unique situation where I, I ignored a military until I built this. But overall, I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence. It's like meh. I mean, it's, it's better than the arsenal, but it's too expensive. I mean, wait, how much is the arsenal? Yeah, both cost the same maintenance. So you are eating into your gold that you need for your marriages. It does give you some production culture, so that's nice. And the extra production for gunpowder units. But that's the thing, like, by the time it comes up, like, it, it comes up in industrial era. So if we look at the tech tree, it comes up in industrial era around here. But, but very soon, yeah, I mean, gunpowder units still reasonable, but overall I feel it's, it's pretty meh. I, Like, if it gave more unit supply, I would have enjoyed it. Honestly, that's the only buff I I want to see. I want to see... I want to see a bit more, you know, military supply from this compared to Arsenal. Because Arsenal is also 15%. Also 15%, so if this is like 20% or 25%, I'll be fine with it. This unit... I'm not impressed. It's it's only a slightly better Fusilier. And and I mean they're they're okay, but their survivability isn't gonna help because this is friendly territory. I guess if you're defending your own territory and you have a magic castle, that'd be pretty good, but. I mean, they, they they are defensively, but, but honestly, the 25%. I mean, look at this. I have... Wait, it's combat bonus. Homeland Guardian. I mean, if you if you're on the defensive, it might be a decent option. But yeah, no, I'm not a big fan. Of, like that culture is totally useless in my opinion. That culture is pretty darn useless. So yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. And. It's only slightly stronger than Fusilier. I mean, sometimes the best defense is a good offense, and if you can't really attack with it effectively, yeah, no, I I don't like it. So there is another late game sieve. If I leaders, and that's Germany. So Germany is interesting. I actually haven't played them yet. So they have the Hans. Which, let's see, minus 10%, plus 3% production. I don't remember how it works. Plus 5 gold. Incoming trade routes. Tourism boost. Hmm. They're a bit different from what I remember. Let me look at the strategy. In addition to regular ability, extra gold, and additional specialist. We have trade route from Berlin to Geneva. 
Wow. Okay, that is actually pretty powerful. Like, if you have those, and then you have internal tray routes, and, like, go oh, industry, man, they can't see. That's a lot of production. Tectonic order. This is, okay, heroic epic. Wait, 25 faith whenever you kill an enemy unit. Anywhere? You're kidding. Wow. Okay. I, I, I like Germany's kit. This is basically... So if you grab this and you grab the cathedral, that'll be what? 10% less? That is... Really... That is very powerful. All barracks gain two faith. Oh, you have no idea how strong that would be. I like Germany's kit a lot better. I mean, Germany also have a like late game Panzers. Panzers are pretty amazing, but they also have this early game, uh, unit, which is a warrior replacement. Wait, it's actually cheaper. Converting barbarian. Increases influence. So early on, you you can actually get some friendship or even alliances if you do it. Actually, no. With these guys, I mean, you can't kind of. I mean, they don't move as quickly as jaguars, but I mean, if you revolve around that, it could actually. I mean, those early bonuses from friendships and alliances with city state is quite powerful. Right, okay, you're right. And city state allies, they give. They scale with era in your capital. And you get more delegate every. So, Germany won't have as many city state allies, but I, I feel from what I've seen right now, they, they have a really strong kit. Their third and fourth unit component helps with uh religion reformation they have a w they have a chance of getting friendship with wait does this i don't know if this stays if this stays and you go for spearmen and hunt for barbarians that could be quite strong and yeah, the extra combat bonus with barbarians matter. You could even go authority and just really focus on barbarians. Yeah, I definitely like Germany's kit. I feel Austria's kit, I mean, it comes way too late. One is industrial. So this is in an industrial. This is in Renaissance. Before that, you get nothing. Industrial, you get your unique building and your unique unit, and then industrial, you get that, and then yeah, that is. I don't know. I. I mean Austria. Um, and plus, by playing the city-state game, you you annoy a lot of enemies. But Germany seems to be able to handle wide much easier. At least their at least their kit makes this so that you could go progress, have trade routes, build the hunts, and then all of your cities. I mean that's fifteen percent. If you have fifteen percent uh I mean three percent. Like even three percent is not bad. So you have three percent, so you have copper and then you have have internal trade routes. He could be quite strong as Germany. Anyways, I am going to end the video here. I don't think my laptop is going to handle the late game, but it's pretty clear. I have 64. There's a pretty good chance I won't lose either of these. And then this will pass, and then 10 more turns. They could declare all declare war on me, but at this point... I mean, the problem for them now is I have a strong navy as well, and if Rome wants a piece of me, he could come, but 
I will make him pay utterly. Yeah, no, I don't think he could do enough damage. So yeah, I am going to end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching. I don't think I could win Emperor because I don't think I could defend. Yeah, it's... Diplomatic can be fun, but it's also very high risk. Like, I feel domination is the easiest because... Like, you are going to antagonize your neighbors, but chances are you probably already snowballed to a point where you don't give a damn. It's just cleaning up. Diplomatic. Diplomatic, I mean really. I would prefer this unit to be changed. And I would prefer if this one gives you a bit more supply from this building. And then it'll be fine. Otherwise, Austria was fun. But yikes, you need a lot of gold for those marriages. A ton of gold. And yeah, Siam lucked out because we had so many. I mean, four of the religions were found here. If Siam has a religion and Russia has. And actually, Shoshone has a religion, that'll be ideal. It was annoying. I mean, at the end, I didn't use my faith because I'm too lazy. But yeah, to get 30 cities, it's it's tough. Like, you would need... I would need to conquer Rome for that to happen. Quite literally conquer Rome. Even if I convert these over. One, two, three, four. That'll be 27. 28, 29. And then just convert one more city and voila. So yeah, I am going to end the video here. Thank you everyone for watching. I, I check a check. What's the next leader for a nation? Austria. Oh, Babylon. You could go tall or go wide. We'll see. Anyways, this is the end of this video. Thank you everyone for watching. And I hope you have a good one. Bye.